Tok tak tak. Tok Bilo. Rotterdam. Yep. Museum Boymans Show Depot. Show Depot. It's actually a huge art storage. And uh, well, art being stored does not need that much light, so it's actually quite a closed box that has some openings. And yes, they do some tours to show the object, but it's, uh, it's an art storage. And it's another icon in Rotterdam. And Uli, who do we meet today? We meet today uh, the engineers, Jaap Wiedenhoff, which is uh, one of the uh, wildest uh, engineers I know working <laughs> at uh, ABT in uh, structural design, building technology um, company in the Netherlands and uh, Gert Jan Peters which is Mr. Facade at the same company oh. and they were involved in the say design process and the engineering process and also tender process in uh, various um, yeah, positions uh, during this process. So they will actually share a little bit of the insights of the yes. project because they were involved. Oh perfect. Yeah. So it's about uh, designing an icon and it's about um, designing a complex freeform facade. Yeah, for, sure, project. for sure it is. So, let's go. Perfect. Incredible sight and an even more beautiful building. Rolling, yeah? Already rolling? Okay. Right, what a great building, what a cool building. It's really going to be an icon. Um, yeah, how to develop a complex facade? The first idea, the design to technology, how do you, how does an architect move you to a certain, to a certain direction? How do you translate this, to, uh, this into the design? Uh, I think if for a building like this, that, that is first understanding the design intent which is, as, as you just said, it's an icon, but how do you build a low-rise icon in a city that's developing higher and higher and high-rise is the norm? And I think the idea of this building is, is, is quite spectacular because it makes an icon by showing the high-rise. So the showing is important. The, the form, the shape, the, the green on the roof, all that is architectural intent and that makes a very good building. But this facade becomes very important because it has to do the work of being a small icon in a big city by showing the big city. And that means that you have to think really hard as engineers is how do I make this showing as uh, accurate as the architect wanted it to be. So should it deform or should it be sharp? Uh, and then from that you all, at the beginning already you have to start thinking about all the issues that you'll, you'll meet during the whole process afterwards. So the size of the joints, is there a way that we can make the joints such a way that they, that they disappear? Because if you look at the first Im images, of course, there are no joints. But this is part of the design process. So the dimension of the, the components, the thickness of the joint, yes. the possibility to make it. Yeah. Someone needs to really be able to make it. Yeah. yeah, so that starts pretty early because actually such a facade is not just in shape complex, but it's also the building physics of it are complex because it needs to ventilate, it needs not to heat. Yeah, but up. That's, a, that's a different, a different um, uh, video. So <laughs> yeah, no, but that, that makes the technology difficult because you need the joints to ventilate it, okay. to make it safe, to make sure that the glass doesn't crack. So there's from the early days, you have to think of a way, how do you do it in such a way that it as much as possible resembles this image of this round ball from where you walk everywhere, you, the city changes, but you always see the city. Anywhere you walk around, you always, you're, you're in the city. Yeah, it's, it's, a, big, it's a big mirror. Um, what would you say are the do's and don'ts in such processes? The don'ts are don'ts. Everything is possible. In the beginning, if you want such a process to succeed, everything is possible. I think the trick of a real good engineer is not to say no, but is to say yes, but it means this. If you want this, it means this. This is how we can do it. And then together you can decide if that is a feasible, realistic, or even uh, yeah, an option you want, or it becomes too technical, or it becomes too thought of whatever but always yes so there's no no there's no no good let's talk about uh, well we need the other one 
Let's talk about uh, the engineering. How to engineer such a complex facade? It's a freeform facade. Yeah. So which type of facade technology? We learned already that size and shape is, uh, is important. The right system for that and then the right material. What we did is defined our um, design frame. So what are the requirements? for the facade. So we talk about uh, thermal insulation, we uh, talk about uh, the, uh, how can we come as close to the shape that the architect uh, yeah, wanted it to be. Then we looked at, uh, at what material, because we also considered uh, stainless steel in the beginning. And uh, in the end it turned out to be uh, reflecting uh, mirroring glass. But stainless steel versus, uh, versus mirroring glass. Yeah. Um, what, was, what was giving the decision? Why this, why this one material and not the other? Eh? We see when we go to the details, see it's laminated, yeah. curved glass. Yeah. Well, that's not simple no, it's and not, simple, not, no. not, not, not cheap. No, but um, that also uh, uh, is uh, this, uh, quite the same for stainless steel. And it had also some side effects, which uh, in the end le uh, led to the, the choice for glass. Basically, it was also uh, in case of tolerances and how to connect the skin to the concrete. Glass uh, was a better choice in the end. And at some point you make the decision for glass and then you're going to look for all the options of uh, what glass you want to use. So we investigated. When, 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 yeah. when we look up there, there's, uh, yeah. this, uh, there are these windows which yeah. are somehow in this system as well. How yeah. would you have dealt with that in stainless steel? That would be quite a complex one. Yeah, yeah so that would be uh, a problem for the see-through parts. So basically we had two materials then probably for, for the skin. So stainless steel for the closed part. And, uh, and glass for the see-through parts. So that would be a choice to use two materials. And then it's also uh, for the uniformity of, of the whole skin, uh, glass is a better solution because you can make it reflecting as well. And why this size of glass plates? Why not smaller or larger? I think that's basically a choice of the architect in the beginning. Do you know Jaap? How the segments were, were uh, formed? It's both to do with, with uh, forming, yeah. so it was uh, uh, with the glass supplier. Okay. So the, uh, the opportunity to get the shape, the right shape. shape. Okay. And, and it had to do with uh, also the architectural wish for this continuity. If you look at it, it's a certain continuity that you get with this glass. Essentially, it's about the largest size you can make in, in and, one and, in, and in double, 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 curved, double curved, curved laminated glass. Yeah. 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 And that, then you have the least joints and the least connections. Let's talk about how to build such a complex facade. So now you have this design, you make this decision about aesthetic, you know that there's a supplier to get this double curved laminated glass, yeah. but now you need to get this to the market, you need to find a manufacturer, it needs to be, say, manufactured, and then it needs to be brought on site. Uh, during the design process, uh, there was also uh, contact with, uh, with suppliers and with uh, of, of, of uh, the double curved glass, and also with uh, some uh, suppliers of systems. But in the end, uh, like I said, there is no real system. It's really custom-made uh, engineering. And in the end, Sorba was selected uh, to build to build it and they took over the engineering part from the technical design we made. They elaborated it to an execution design. As, as it is now, but I hear you saying that um, it's necessary to have more than just one supply opportunity, because otherwise you're kind of trapped in a price um, race. Yeah, but not only in the price, but also in the technical solutions. Uh, uh, because for the glass thing, is that you want the best supplier at the moment. Because it's not said that the best supplier also has the uh, planning capacity uh, at the time you need it. So uh, you have to look in a wider range of suppliers uh, worldwide who can, make, who can make this. And uh, for uh, suppliers for systems, you want to make the, the design feasible and makeable. So you have to look at uh, systems um, uh, and, and the other one. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at systems and technical solutions to come to the end, to the best end solution. And most of the time, it's a combination of ideas. We had our own ideas. Uh, suppliers came up with their ideas, and in the end, you see that's a mix of those ideas. And yeah, that's the design as it is. 
Last <laughs> question, which was on that uh, sticker. Yeah. It's cheating. <laughs> Last question, which was on the other uh, on the other sticker. Marcel, there's one gone. Sorry, sorry, but here I can I can already um, yeah, 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 hold yeah, it yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, what was the one we're missing? The other one. Yeah. Was the last remaining? No. No, no, no. Here the last question is: Does it work in the end? So did it work? Did it say technically work? Uh, any major <laughs> difficulties you can announce in that process? It worked out very fine, as you can see, because the building is delivered, so it's easy to say now. Come on, don't do the politician. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, this facade is really, uh, has a uh, really uh, smart build-up. Like it has, in fact, it has seven layers. And uh, if you do it in the sequence as the layers, you, you can just, uh, it, it looks very easy. As you look at pictures from the building process, you think, okay, everyone could do this. but. In the, that's the result of smart engineering, so that the installation on site is really easy to do. And it's not easy to do because you, have, you need to have a very good uh, contractor to make it. But um, uh, because it's such a, a logical build-up of the skin, from the concrete part to the, uh, the glass panels in the end, uh, as you see the, the pictures of the installation, you say, okay, we, you could do this, this at home. So, which is actually a super nice last word. Good engineering makes a facade even complex, simple. Yeah. Perfect. We finish here. This way, this way. This. No, 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 no. This. this. Ah, come here, yeah, come. Here. Perfect. So done for today. Almost. It was a package. What a package. Oh, cool building. Run. <laughs>